Hey, Secret Society! It's Sunday, and I'm outside, and it's cold, and I should be wearing gloves, but I'm not, so that. Um, also, cars are passing and people are staring, but it's okay, because I'm really happy, because for once, everyone updated this week, and that's pretty awesome. So, I recorded a video of me going on a epic adventure to Barnes & Noble to pick up a copy of A Fault in Our Stars by John Green because I think most if not everyone in this channel has read it and loves it and has been telling me to read it and, and then a bunch of other people have been telling me to read it too. <sighs> Look at that. Oh, there's, there's about a hundred more on the, side, the other side of that far building in the distance. Oh, it's great. It, it stretches on for miles. Not really, though. But I have some shots that I'm going to cut to in this video of my trip to Barnes & Noble and the ridiculous things that I saw at Barnes & Noble. Oh, there are a lot of ridiculous things at Barnes & Noble. So this week I'm shooting from a ham handheld camcorder and it's it's small and I can't quite tell when I'm in the picture so forgive me if most of this video is like at my chest or right above my head or off to the side you know in any of these other places that aren't my visible face also this is as far as my arm goes away from my body so I'm sorry if this is really really close because this is not usually the kind of intimacy I like to have with my viewers So uh, someone's dog started barking at me, um, so I decided to uh, move, and so that explains the change of location. Um, I made the grave mistake of telling Ross uh, which director would be the director for the movie of my life, so he spoiled you guys yesterday and said that it would be the Coen brothers. Ugh, how different from the other days of the week who have almost all have said Wes Anderson. Um, and I do like Wes Anderson, but I don't think that the movie of my life would be directed by Wes Anderson because while I like Wes Anderson as a director for his style, for his style, um, I just think that the Coen brothers, uh, I feel like my life would be directed by the Coen brothers because my life is very nonsensical and it's full of dark humor and Steve Buscemi ties. <laughs> um, but yeah, in the case of my life, I don't know who would play me. Um, I feel like I look a lot like Audrey Toto, but I don't want to go for that whole um, indie hip girl thing. So I I'm not really sure who would play me in the story of my life. Um, although my mom would definitely be played by Angelica Houston. That's the Wes Anderson aspect of my life. Her teens. Can't miss books. So here's the thing about my ex-boyfriends, and in the in the range of them, um, I've had one uh, say, "Wow, your dad looks like Paul McCartney," and then another one say, "Wow, your dad looks like Ricky Gervais." So. This really, uh, I hope that can tell you the kind of quality of men that I date. So, that. Um, what else? Um, not sure who my friends would be played by. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm not really good with, with picking celebrities to play me in a movie or play my friends in a movie. Like, I, I tried, uh, putting my face into the, uh, celebrity lookalike generator, and, um, 
the top two results were Vin Diesel, no, not Vin Diesel, um, Bruce Willis and Nicole Kidman. And I look nothing like Bruce Willis or Nicole Kidman. So that was pretty weird. You know, it really, really pains me that there is a three shelf spread for teen paranormal romance. How can we make this channel better? Um, I think uh, number one thing is to update more. I mean, seriously, guys. Uh, Ross, Catherine, and I have been updating every day of our every of our designated days for the past couple of weeks. So least you can do is the same. How can we make our videos better? Well, I think number one thing is to get someone to cover for Tuesday. And uh, I think to fix this we should have audition tapes. I mean, we should have people who want the Tuesday slot to send us an audition tape, just like three minutes long with their name, geographical location, uh, interests, uh, quirky things about themselves, and then a fun fact to finish it. Aw, it's so pretty. It's, leaves should have fallen by now. It's January, it's late January. In terms of other things, a lot of other people have suggested, oh, we're gonna end our video with some sort of fun little fact. And I love that idea. I mean, I think that Sean should end his videos with a review of a movie he's watched that week. And Will, uh, not quite sure, maybe like some sort of fun, fun thing he's learned this week, like, or maybe a comedian he's listened to. I know he's a pretty funny guy. Uh, Catherine, I love the idea of a French word to end your video because I love the word pamplemousse. Um, maybe you could end some of your videos with French phrases like Fou le camp! Um, I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but I do love excuses to say French curse words. Um, Jessie Ann, uh, maybe a concert you've recently been to or since you're a vegan, a vegan dish because I'm going vegan this year and I would love some more fun vegan dishes. And then Ross, uh, do a review of some uh, album you've listened to, or better yet, uh, do one verse or chorus of a song you recently learned on a instrument. And I mean like, any of us can do any of these things, they're not restricted to one member of the community, but I really think we should get more proactive with our vlogging. And I will see you guys next week. This is exciting. This is very exciting. And I wish this was in focus. No, 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 no focus. No focus today. I cannot focus.